do you use some uh, like cryptographic blinding to enhance the privacy during the coordination of the coin join already? No. So we looked at things like Poddle, for example. So you would obscure the UTXOs that you're offering. But at the moment, the Lightning Network is not sophisticated enough. And there are a number of papers showing that if you combine the information, you can already tell a lot. That it didn't buy us a huge amount. Uh, Poddle was in the original spec that Lisa wrote. And she had like a trial implementation of it to basically, you would prove that you owned one of these outputs uh, before I would reveal any of my outputs, right? You, you come to me, go, I want to open a channel and I want you to dual fund in, in as well. Um, and you would have to provide a proof to me that that one of those was real and unspent and everything else. Um, and then I would, would publish that out in a way that um, if you tried to reuse that proof for somebody else, they'd see the clash and everything else. Uh, it does add complexity uh, and it's something that's fairly easy to add later. So we didn't do that. So that is a scheme that uh, was invented for CoinJoin, which is kind of cool. The difference is that CoinJoin gives you, I think, 10 different possibilities. Like you can have different variants of the proof. So you can try 10 times with the same input. We don't have to do that in Lightning because if you, it's not like you can't spend that output anymore. It's just that you'll have to, you know, no one will contribute to your dual funding. You'll have a single fund channel if you try to reuse it. So even if something goes wrong, it's not useless. It's just that, hey, you'll either have to add another input, uh, spend it to another UTXO, or uh, open a normal channel that doesn't have, you know, uh, that, that isn't going to be dual funded. Um, but yeah, we, we chose to excise that from the spec because the spec was already getting pretty big. And, and we thought, well, you know, this is something that we can definitely add as a requirement later when we see how things actually play out. Um, so we don't have the same requirements. Um, in that sense. Uh, and yeah, in practice, you end up, of course, seeing what your peer is, peer is offering for UTXOs, and you could abort at that point. 